Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2 Tournament of Robotic Destruction! We've got some interesting matches for you this week as we continue the heavyweight bouts. This is round two of the preliminaries with the following teams in order. Team High Voltage's Wide Load versus Team Hex's Cranky Spanky. Team Z's Eye Stabber versus Team Steel Yard Dog's Bad Dog. Team Riot's Velociraptor versus Team Megaton's Undead Beat. Team and finally, in our final match, the one you all have been waiting for, the Scrapper Team the Scrapper's Backyard Rep, re, uh, Backyard Shredder, excuse me, versus my very own new and improved Pyrotechnics Fire Beetle. So without further delay, let's get into our first match in the Robot Wars Arena and see what these two bots are capable of. I'll see you there. All right, we're starting off the match real, real heavy. Oh, these two heavily damaging bots. Looks like Velociraptor's coming down with the spike strips. Hammering down on Wide Load's drum. But Wide Load's main weapon seems to be able to get under underneath Velociraptor, dealing heavy damage now to the back end of uh, Velocir uh, Velociraptor. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's Cranky Spanky, isn't it? It is. They look so similar. Cranky Spanky taking a heavy amount of damage now, smoking something is on fire internally. His skirts are able to get up underneath Wide Load, but Wide Load definitely having the advantage here. He's going to want to push Wide Load, or, oh, he's about to be counted out. <laughs> Someone is. Uh, oh, Cranky Spanky needed to move, but it looked like he took some serious internal damage from that devastating drum spinner of Wide Load. That's one victory for Wide Load, best two out of three, with over 11,000 points. Let's get right back into it and see who's going to come out on top in the next match. All right, and here we go again. Wide Load versus Cranky Spanky. My apologies for the incorrect, uh, uh, <laughs> for saying the incorrect name the last time. Oh, and the two bots meet right beneath one of the house hazards. Looks like Wide Load and Cranky Spanky are definitely locked up right now. Or, yes. Cranky Spanky needs to engage his main weapons, but it seems like it might have actually uh, not helped him last time. These two bots are definitely, like, locked up. Locking horns. Cranky Spanky with over 2,000 points. Wide Load with over 4,000 points. So Wide Load definitely, definitely in the lead so far. Those devastating drums, uh, Cranky Spanky's gonna need to take care of them, get rid of them, or do something about them, or he's gonna be in trouble. If I was Cranky Spanky right now, what I would do is back away and allow Wide Load to be counted out because he doesn't seem to be able to move very well. Well, well, maybe I was wrong. If he could just push Wide Load into the flipper, he might stand a chance, but I believe Wide Load is invertible. Wide load now with over 5,000 points. Cranky Spanky, whoa, just trailing at 4,000 points. And it's true, wide load does appear to be invertible. And now Cranky Spanky pulling out all the stops using his flipper weapons and his razor saw, uh, razor weapons, his razor hammer-like weapons. See if I can get a better angle on these two. There we go, that's the one, come on. Perfect. Uh, uh, <laughs> the flipper comes up and it ruins the camera angle. Oh, and there goes Wide Load, flipping out almost out of the arena. Cranky Spanky keeping him on that flipper now. Needs to lure him over to something more damaging, perhaps. Oh, and it looks like one of the drums has come off of Wide Load. Yes, it's true. One of the drums has actually come off of Wide Load. Cranky Spanky now uh, stands a chance. Uh, Cranky Spanky with 15,000 points. Wide Load just barely ahead with 20,000. Well, not just barely, definitely. Cranky Spanky's got just under a minute to try to even this up. He's getting closer. He's closing the gap. The, t the countdown starts for Wide Load. Wide Load backs out. Cranky Spanky pushes in. Definitely some points for aggression by Cranky Spanky. An excellent match. Hoping to take it to the third round. Wide Load with 25,000. Cranky Spanky just barely behind with 25,300. Oh, and it's going up and up and up. And Cranky Spanky is staying on Wide Load's uh, left side, or his right side, with the missing drum. Very good uh, strategy, but it looks like Cranky Spanky has lost his uh, final 
Oh, I want to get a good angle. I want to get a good angle. There we go. There we go. Oh, it looks like Wide Load or Cranky Spanky has lost his final uh, hammer. We're just down to three seconds left. It looks like who's in the lead? Cranky Spanky with just over 200 points more. Woo! What a what a match. All right, so they go best two out of three for the third and final. That is good. That is good. All right, one more, and and we'll see who's gonna take it home. These two bots were made to fight each other. Factory made for destruction. Wide load comes in cautiously. The two bots clash near the flip trap and wide load goes over. Wide load now moving on his drums being pushed towards the corner hazard. <clears throat> Cranky Spanky pinning wide load. Needs to get those, oh and, there, and, and there's the spike hammers. Wide load now pinned up against the sidewall. A count starting for both bots at the same count, so Cranky Spanky's gonna want to back up and around now. Anytime now. <laughs> and it's a draw! <laughs> Wait! Oh man, I might have to leave that one up to the judges. A close point count, and both bots counted out. Uh, I'll leave it up to you guys, but we're gonna possibly do one more. I think. Um, I think that one could have gone either way. Uh, we'll call that a draw, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Because that, that, that could have been drawn out a lot more. I, um, I think what happened is uh, Cranky Spanky could have backed up, but he uh, lost traction because his wheels were so small that they were no longer touching the arena bottom. This is turning out to be a good, good uh, set of rounds this week. If this first uh, matchup is any indication, we're going to zoom in on here. See these two bots locked up this time towards the center of the ring. Going slowly towards that center hazard. They better watch out that a refrigerator doesn't get dropped on them. And there it is! Oh, wide load takes the brunt of the force from the refrigerator, and it looks like his left um, looks like his left tires might be taking some damage there. As you can see, the smoke cascading from uh, one of his engines, actually one of the engines that actually runs runs the drum spinner. And I actually know how to uh, make that drum spinner now. I might make one of my own. Cranky Spanky employing its main weapons now, waiting patiently. Unfortunately, Wide Load is up underneath that skirt, so he's dealing a lot of damage, racking up points now with over 9,000. Cranky Spanky really needs to engage those main weapons to try to get another hit. But it looks like it's being very cautious. Oh, and Cranky Spanky pushing Wide Load towards the pit. But the pit hasn't been engaged yet. Wide load still racking it up with over 11,000. Both bots locked in a tight, tight locking horns. Just <laughs> locked up in a death grip right now with over a minute and 40 seconds remaining. Countdown starts. Wide load backs out, or uh, Cranky Spanky backs out and gets a good clean hit on wide load. Unable to unfortunately flip his opponent. Oh, and there's what he was trying to prevent. Wide load is now up underneath Cranky Spanky, dealing enormous amounts of devastating damage. Cranky Spanky definitely on the receiving end now. Looks like he's not able to flip himself over just quite yet, and there it is! He's got the flip. He needs to get out of the corner, and I need to get off of the corner of this refrigerator. Let's see if I can get the good angle there. Zoom in on these two, come on. Point counts going. Oh, they always like to pick the corners that I can't quite get to with this camera. Alrighty then. Both blocks over the flame hazard now. Ooh, and wide load in on the side and back of Cranky Spanky. That's going to cost him. It's going to hurt bad. Wide load with over 23,000. Cranky Spanky somehow, even upside down, still racking up points slowly but surely. Into the corner hazard now. Wide load seems to be dominating this match. I think he's going to take it home. Cranky Spanky with unbelievable, um, unbelievable chassis in, uh, endurance. Look at all those underhit shots he's getting right there. And as you can see, his armor points aren't going down too far. I am not sure what on earth he has up underneath the actual bot, but that is some very strong armor. Oh, oh, losing the angle. There we go. We got it. We got it. Oh, poor Cranky Spanky. He is in trouble. I would fire off those main weapons. Oh, it's over. That one was all wide load. All right. 
But that was an excellent match. I really enjoyed watching all four of those matches. I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. Alright everybody and we're back with Team Z's Eye Stabber versus Team Steel Yard Dog's Bad Dog. Best two out of three rounds. Let's see who can take home the gold. Eye Stabber the favorite in this fight. The higher seed as his as any indication from last season's tournament should indicate. However, Bad Dog with some new accoutrements, spikes now, definitely having the ability to uh, maintain a aggressive posture in this new match. Looks like Eye Stabber is racking up points right now, pushing, I, uh, pushing Bad Dog toward the pit trap or the pit ball button. Trying to stay in on the side of Bad Dog, doing a very good job right now, but Bad Dog still managing to rack up some points, apparently with a spiked weapon on the very edge of his... Oh, and there goes some side plating from Bad Dog. He's exposed now, definitely wants to get Eye Stabber into those jaws and keep him there. Eye Stabber with the more powerful pushing power, keeping Bad Dog in the corner. <laughs> Bad Dog, corner! Ooh, Eye Stabber taking more more armor off from Bad Dog. Pushing him towards the center of the arena. Bad Dog looks like he's about to lose a tire if he's not careful. He needs to back out and get Eye Stabber back in those jaws. Eye Stabber with over 19,000 points, 20,000 points. Bad Dog not too far behind though with 17,000. These two by Oh, and more plating from Bad Dog. Now both of his side protective plates have been gone. Ooh, Bad Dog going in for some tackles. Dealing pretty heavy amounts of damage. Closing the gap, actually. Uh-oh. Here comes a hazard. Oh, and Bad Dog. <laughs> and Bad Dog takes the refrigerator to the top of the head. But it looks like, in this match, Eye Stabber may have taken the heavier chassis damage. Uh-oh. Uh, Bad Dog backing up over the flame pit. Getting grinded by the grinding saws on the edge of the arena now. Uh, Eye Stabber with over 35,000 points. Bad Dog right behind him with 30. Ooh, these two bots were made. A match made in heaven. Hello. We may have a turnaround here as Eye Stabber seems to have uh, lost most of his stabbing spikes now to Bad Dog's jaws. The jaws of death instead of the jaws of life, ladies and gentlemen. As Bad Dog seems to be able to possibly turn this match around at this point. Bad Dog getting the... Oh, one spike left remains from Ice Stabber, uh, at least on the front side. Bad Dog, with the endurance proven in this match, proving that this match is a uh, marathon, not a race. Getting on the side of Ice Stabber now. Bad Dog... Ooh, and there, there's some saw damage, and there's a spike gone again. Oh, man, Bad Dog, more like the underdog in this match, coming uh, just straight from, like, the jaws of defeat into the... Jaws of victory. Looks like Ice Stabber with over 40,000 points. Oh, Bad Dog with 37,000. Oh, man, he just had him. And he took it by control and everything. That was so good. I'm so proud of Bad Dog. What a long match, though. What do you guys think? Um, I guess for now, what we'll do is... Um, I'll write it down that Ice Stabber actually won that one technically, but... I'd like to hear the audience opinion on that because uh, I can do the um, next round. Excuse me. I can do the uh, next rounds next week and um, find out who all. Excuse me. Goes forward. Uh, let's get that second match in and see these two go at it again. Definitely enjoying these rounds more than the first round preliminaries as these two bots seem to be a match made in heaven. Uh, much of the same sounds from last time, the clashing of horns from these two titans. Two titans of the arena. Ooh, that dog in a bad position now. Ice Stabber's got him in the back end, trying to take off those protective side plates again. We're gonna try to zoom in and get a good angle on that. Possibly a back angle here. Ooh, sorry about that. Come on, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. There we go, there's the close up. Every now and again, I might lose the bots because I've just got to have those close-ups. i just got to have them. All right, there we go. There we go. Right into the corner there. Eye Stabber over the flame trap. 
Looks like he's lost a few of his spikes already. Ooh, bad dog getting grinded from the um, grinding saws on the side of the arena. Looks like he's lost his side plating there, and his tire seems to have taken some damage. He may lose that tire. That could cost him the match. He hasn't taken too many of Eyestab or Spikes just yet. Looks like these two bots have similar tires, maybe even the same tires. So pushing power comes down to comes down to who all's got more momentum, I guess, just from their speed and trajectory, probably. All right, let's try to zoom in and get that good angle. Uh, looks like we're going to need to get it on the back of the arena there. I'm going to try to swing around. Oop, oop, don't miss too much. Don't miss too much of the action. Ooh, and there it is. There's the angle we want. Both dogs in the... Both, um, both bots in the corner. Looks like um, that dog has a technique that he's using going back and forth, left and right. Sort of shaking his head around just like a real dog. Like shaking his prey. Oh, I'm liking this match. Looks like Bad Dog still has a lot of damage on that back tire. Needs to get him, uh, get Ice Stabber. Oh, Ice Stabber seems to have lost maybe one or two more pokers. And there goes another one. Okay, now all the piston pokers seem to be gone. Just as last time, Ice Stabber trying to, uh, trying to finish this match quickly. Uh, Bad Dog definitely the endurance type, trying to drag on the match. That's his uh, key to victory there. Oh, got to get that angle. Oh, look at that. Hey, come on, come on. I want to get it right through the window. Come on, ooh. Uh, bad dog suffering a count out, but he moves. And now he's good. Okay, watch it. There's the flipper. Oh, 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 then bad dog gets flipped. Aha, lucky for bad dog though. I believe both bots are fully invertible. Bad dog got eye stabber. Um, Locked up now. It seems like he's lost another spike. Something else just came off and ooh, Ice Stabber goes for the tumble. Again? Oh man, these two. Oh man, these two are so good against each other. I really love Bad Dog. He's just such a he's such a an endurance. He's so tough and resilient. Like if you give him long enough, he can win a match against anybody. I've just never seen those jaws of his come off. But I guess for now, until next week at least, I've got to give it to Ice Stabber just so that we can continue on. But let me know what you guys in the comment section think at home. Uh, I really enjoyed watching Bad Dog fight. He's a he's a tough he's one tough cookie. <laughs> All right, I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the next one. All right, folks, and we're back with our next set of matches. Two uh, best two out of three three minute rounds. Riot versus Vela or Team Riot's Velociraptor versus Team Megatons Undead Beat. <laughs> it's robot fighting time. <laughs> Ooh, Velociraptor looking very cool. Oh, both hammer bots bringing down the pain. Velociraptor pushing Undead Beat into the corner, triggering the pitfall trap. Is anyone going to go in there? Oh, I got to get that angle. I got to get that angle. I'm sorry. Got to get that angle. Come on, come on. Okay, now zoom in. Ooh, oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> Velociraptor backs up just a little bit too far. <laughs> oh, in order to stop that countdown timer, he got just a little bit too spunky. Oh man, and he was ahead in points too. Uh, I'm gonna count it. <laughs> you gotta drive good. <laughs> uh, remember what I said? I think it was um, last week. Driving is key. All right, folks. That's one for Team Megatons Undead Beat. Let's hope Velociraptor doesn't cost himself another round. All right. You gotta hand it to both of these bots, though. They are ready to rumble. Ooh, and a heavy hit right from the very get go. Velociraptor, Undead Beat, two bots made for piercing, smashing. Velociraptor seems to have the slightly higher pushing power. Undead Beat, though, in a very advantageous position right now, forcing Velociraptor back. Ooh, got to get that camera angle, though. Oh, the heavy hits, the damage, the devastation. You can hear it across the arena. Undead Beat seems to be slowing down. Having trouble giving, getting his hammer 
up to striking distance. Velociraptor pushing back, pushing Undead Beat over the pit, the pit not engaged. Velociraptor seeming to have, starting to take the advantage now. Velociraptor with the faster hits, Undead Beat with the heavier hits. Undead Beat though up against those kill souls. And the edge of the arena, he doesn't want that. Undead Beat still doing massive amounts of damage with that hammer. Velociraptor with over 20,000. Undead Beat with 26,000. These two bots just hate, hate, hate. So much hate, so little time. Countdown starting. Oh, this, the devastation. Both bots seemingly unable to function properly at this time. Velociraptor with an interesting strategy, if it actually is a strategy. It seems he's using one of his claws to pin and the other to strike. Pinning with one claw, striking with the next. Undead Beat knocked out TKO. We are going to go to a third round in this one. And it looks um, like Velociraptor just barely managed to pull that off. Undead Beat with over 29,000. So he was leading in points. Velociraptor uh, forces into forces it into the third round. Let's see that third round. All right, folks, we've got one for a Velociraptor, one for Undead Beat. They clash. The flames come down, oh, and they're hovering around that center arena. There could be a trap coming down, and there's the refrigerator. Misses both bots. Oh! Undead Beat starting off with the unbelievably heavy hits, and this could be it! Undead Beat! Devastatingly heavy hits. Wouldn't want to fight him in a match. Woo! My main, my main, uh, whoo! My main objective would be to flip him over. Team Megatons Undead Beat with 23,000 points takes home the victory. Going on to the uh, semi-final rounds. Now, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with the next one. And we're back with the final match. The heavyweight preliminary round two's final match. The team backyard, uh, the scrappers backyard shredder versus my own pyrotechnics new and improved fire beetle. You're going to love the design. You're going to love some changes that I've made to him. Uh, after the... Um, after the match, I'll do a quick overview of the improvements that I made. And here we are. Okay, I, I gotta get focused. Okay, gotta put all that crap to the side and get ready. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. My only hope is to get behind him and flip him over. I gotta flip him. No! Don't screw me up, don't screw me up. Oh god, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he? Yes! Okay, now I just want to run my flamethrowers and get as many points as possible. Don't, 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 don't! You stay flipped! You stay flipped! You stay flipped! Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no! Back up, back up! Backing up! Backing up! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm in a terrible spot! I'm in a terrible spot! No! Oh, oh, he's dealing massive amounts of damage! But I can still get the flip if I angle it just right! Come on, horns! Do your thing! Gotta keep that flamethrower going. Oh no! I'm in a terrible spot. I'm in an awful jam. Oh, I've got, I've, I've got to let him hit the tank treads. Oh no! There it is. Oh! I knew I'd have a tough try, a time with this match. I just, oh. Fire Beetle is the most I have ever spent on a bot. Like I have, I have tried so hard with him. Like he is really really customized. Oh, man. And I, I just, I'm up against the toughest opponents every time. But I've got to try, I've got to try. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get in there! Come on, come on. i got to fix the whoop. Oh, no! No, 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 Oh, this could be over really quickly. Run away! Spin, 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 spin. Keep that point throw going. Keep that point throw going. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, gotta get back up on my right side. Oh, no, 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 flip it. You gotta flip it. No, don't let him get onto me. Get the point throw going. Uh, uh, um. Move, 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 move. Oh, it's all over. It's all over but the crime. Get away from me. Oh, 
god, I hate him so much. Of all the opponents I had to have, Fire Beetle is so cool. You don't understand. He's so cool. Just look at him. He's so cool. Why do I always have to go up against the stupid a-holes? <laughs> uh, okay, a couple more for shits and giggles. Oh, one or two more for shits and giggles. You gotta give me one or two more for shits and giggles. I I work so hard. Look at that paint job. He's exquisite. Come on, come on, bring it on. Get flipped. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! Gotta keep the horns down. Oh, get away from the flames. Oh no. Oh god. I can't I can't see. Them camera angles, bro. Always tearing me apart. Nope, nope, you're not gonna get me, you're not gonna get me, run away! Oh god. Drop a refrigerator on him. Do it, do it, drop it now! Oh, you screwballed me. Oh god, no, 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 oh, and I'm so tough too. Flip him, 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 keep him there. Okay, come off of the foot, yes! Flip, flip! Flip. Press the C key. Press the C key. Oh my god, I can't even. Ah, you can keep the what? No! <laughs> what? Oh god, my freaking horns got stuck in the arena again. He's so cool. Fire Beetle is so cool, man. He's so cool. He's my favorite bot ever. Am I still taking chassis damage? Bring it. Yeah, get flipped. Ha! Flipped him with the horns. Oh god, why couldn't this be the official match? Get burned! But see, he can even flip himself back. Is that, there it is, there it is. Get flipped. Oh my god, get flipped. Oh my god. Go into the pit. Oh, oh at least this gives you guys a chance to see Fire Beetle. I hate him getting taken out of the tournament so quickly. But I'll have a chance when I get back into the loser's bracket, or second chance round, or whatever you want to call it. Oh god, this is it. This is it. This is it. I'm running away. Never never turn your back on your opponent. Oh my god, no. Oh, uh, gotta keep him with the tank treads. Oh my god, no. He's so... Oh, I hate the stupid spike balls. They're garbage. The whole recording's gonna crash, isn't it? Okay. Last round, I swear. Because the last time I said last round and I did one more, the recording crashed. And get flipped! Flamethrower! Whoa, 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 No, 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 what a terrible angle. Get away, get away, get away, okay. Oh, oh, I've got him now. I got you now. You need a house to go with this doorknob. C button, C button. I've lost my horns. I can't flip him. Flip him, flip him, flip him. Flip him, flip him, flip him. It's my only hope. Oh god, get away from me. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, oh, this is, oh god, I hate him. I hate him so much. How do you fight that? Oh my god. 10 to 1 he beats me. 10 to 1. Okay. Well. <sighs> Let me at least go into the team headquarters and show you all about the original Fire Beetle and the new and improved Fire Beetle. I love his design. Uh, I made it look like he's got like a beetle wing and then the other one got ripped off. And he's kind of got like a spine going down and he's got some vents for the flamethrowers. And the flames come out of his friggin' eyeballs. Look at that. Flames out of his friggin' eye sockets. Those are eventually going to be... Those were originally going to be vents for the flames, and now he's got that boss flipper with the horns. And um, I raised the horns just a little bit so that they didn't uh, drag on the arena. Uh, I gave him a, di uh, a balance caster so he doesn't, um, you know, point down and, uh, like, you know, get, get dug into the arena. Because originally, without the balance caster, the horns here, or the mandibles, they're mandibles. i got to remember they're mandibles. Um, Actually, they look like, now they're mandibles, and then boom, now they're horns. Mandibles, horns. Mandibles, horns. But uh, then he's got more mandibles on the side of his tank treads. 
uh, if I, you know, if I get an opponent to where, like, there are, um, if I get an opponent to like where they're coming to the side of me, I can like present the side of my bot to them. Hang on, let me straighten up my tank tread there. Okay, hang on. The, wait, 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 there we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> See, that's one bad thing about the tank treads is they, but they are very durable. Very durable. I, I love this bot. He's got a good flipper unit. Uh, let me show you how effective his flipper is. It's a pretty decent flipper. Boom! Just take those barrels and just... Boom! Don't you wish these were full of, like, flammable material? Hang on, let me get up underneath the barrel. And then... Boom! Uh, oh, wait, I gotta get up underneath it. There, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, do I not have that much power? Hmm. Well, they are heavy barrels. I wish they were full of flammable material, though. It says nuclear. Oh, 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 oh. He's hard to control, too. Well, not necessarily very hard to control, it's just there's so many buttons to press all at once. But I built them all myself. And I tried several different configurations with, uh, spike balls, uh, spike bats on the, uh, on the sides of the tank treads, and I just feel like these mandibles just sort of fit the, fit the idea, the theme of the bot. I gave him some crud, and gave him dark outlines, and those, uh, those, um, like, Treads on the side. I just, I really went all out with the customization. I even, if I could show you on the uh, underside of him, if he flip over real quick. Well, he, he he doesn't flip over, but well, he does flip over, but I can't flip him over manually, I guess. But um, it says like, oh wait, oh I almost had it. Let's do it again. It says, dang it, underneath it. <laughs> uh, it's just a really fun bot to pilot, a really fun bot to use. I mean, he would devastate middleweights and uh, lightweights, but then again, that wouldn't be a fair match. Um, up against the heavyweights, he does pretty all right, but I just happen to have that really bad match against Backyard Shredder. I mean, that thing is all built for damage. See, see, it says dang it underneath it. I'm pretty sure you, you saw it in the matches. Um, he is one of the favorite bots that I have ever built. I love him to death. And hopefully I can make a comeback in the comeback rounds. And I hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. And until next time, take, <laughs> take it easy, my friends. <laughs>